Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways of how you can group Likert scale data into, uh, let's say, groups or variables in one time. So the first way we have first, just to present this, we have this Likert scale that consists of uh, different items that correspond to a certain theme, like this regular assignment of English homework, then the kind of the assigned homework, as well as the beliefs about uh, English homework. So what I need to do is that I need to reduce the these items of the Likert scale or the seven point or five point Likert scale into one variable or one group or one category like this. So I need uh, all these items to be one like in this one so that I can call it, for instance, regular assignment of homework, kind of homework, and beliefs about English homework. So there are two ways uh, in which I can uh, group these items into one variable or different variables. So I'm going to show you the first way. We can go to uh, transform and then compute variable. And I'm going to find all the functions that can be identified from this box here. We have statistical, scoring, strength, time, search, etc. I'm going to choose a statistical and then I can choose either the mean, I move it, or I can choose the median and I move it here. So anyways, I'm just going to show you the mean uh, function. Once I choose the mean function, I can just copy uh, these items and paste them here, or rather I can like not copy, just drag them and drop them here. Otherwise I can double click like this, but I need to keep adding commas. Okay, till I finish all the items. So once I finish them, I need to close the parenthesis and click OK. But before that, I can give it a name like regular, etc. Then click OK. So once I click OK, the variable will be created at the end of the uh, data or the variable view and even the data view here. So anyways, uh, we can, once I group all of them based on the mean, I can compute uh, their mean score so that I can group them, for instance. So I can go here to analyze descriptive stats and descriptives and I need to move the, the newly created variables like this. But in options, I need to choose ascending means. So this grouping here can be based on ascending or descending means. Let's choose, for instance, descending means, click continue, click OK. And you can find the, uh, the scales grouped based on the descending means, for instance, like from the highest to the lowest. So I just uh, miss moved this, let's say, timestamp. I can go back, descriptives, remove it, click OK. This way. So this is the first way I can group the Likert scale items. The second way is through transform and compute variables, but I'm going to choose the median, not the mean. If I can't find the mean here or the median here, I can just type it. So I can type it using uppercase, click open parenthesis. And I move the items till I finish, one by one till I finish, and then close the parenthesis, and then click OK. Again, a new variable will be created at the end, but this is the median. So the mean score is used when we use parametric statistics like t-test, ANOVA, and COVA, uh, linear regression, etc. But the median is used mostly for non-parametric tests like the man with new test, uh, cross core wallis edge test, uh, ordinal and logistic regression, etc. There are like two ways of how you can uh, group the Likert scale items into categories so that you can uh, run other tests subsequently. You can either run descriptive stats by grouping or by, let's say, uh, classifying the, the items based or, or the scales based on the, their mean score, 
or based on, the, on their median score. So these are like different ways of how we can, in fact, uh, group Lakert scale items. You can choose the way that suits you the best. And if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media attached uh, below and see you soon in another tutorial. Bye for now.